Because okay. people maybe imagine like you walk in and everybody's having sex. Um, it depends <laughs> on what time you walk in. Some women mm -hmm. get paid just to like pretend they are somebody's girlfriends for a night, yeah. and they get paid like hundreds of pounds. Uh, more than without that. sex. More than that. I see people here and also in their homes because I'm mobile. I love acupuncture. It really helps everyone. I actually had an event here, community acupuncture, where people were like having tea and making so much noise. And I had two people on this bed like separately. And I was like, oh my God, are they going to be able to relax? And so with one of the guys, I actually brought my little earplugs and I was like, oh, maybe I need to just stuff them in so he can actually sleep. I reached over and realized he was snoring. <laughs> so like those needles just like put you to sleep. What's the Allison. name of the dog? Tell this us. is Allison. She barks a lot. Let me ask you about this picture. I really like oh, it. Oh, this is my husband hugging his mom. Um, they were on holiday in Bali and they think she had just come off the airport and they were seeing each other for the first time in a long time. That was also the trip where I met my husband. So if you look over here, that was the villa that we met in, in Bali, where he was staying. And then that's us at our fake wedding. Where fake? Well, fake. basically everyone thought that they missed our wedding because they saw these nice pictures. But actually me and my husband modeled for a photography uh, oh. workshop where photographers pay to get pictures for their portfolio. Yeah. I love that you started talking to uh, about money because you are, how can I call you, entrepreneur? Or like, you yeah. find different ways of making money. Let's say I'm a hustler. <laughs> like most people would pay thousands of pounds for getting a picture like that. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> you pay me. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Uh, big kitchen because I love to host. I do a lot of events from brunch parties, as you know, on locals mm -hmm. to um, girls like clothes swap events. I mean, I just love having people over. So I was doing all of this before and locals just gave me a chance to monetize it all mm -hmm. and also meet new people outside of my friend circle because I do modeling and most of my friends are models and actors. Yeah, so most of my friends are models and actors, and being on Locals, I met three doctors in two weeks. Wow. Yeah, junior doctor, um, surgeon, there was some random guy from Norway who joined one of my events. He signed up at like 6 a.m. Wow. And he was like, oh, I'm coming from the airport. I'm like, do you work at the airport? He's like, no, just flew in. <laughs> yeah, really cool. Well, he wasn't from Locals, but he's on it now because of me. I'm like converting everyone. You're like ambassador because you are. <laughs> Well, if you get on the app, then you'll get notified of my event, so it's a win-win. Get on the app. Okay, <laughs> let's show us the room that you cleaned for like half an hour. Oh my god, way. it was such a mess. <laughs> this is our little patio. There's a garden upstairs that belongs to the upstairs neighbor who is non-existent, so... I've kind of been tidying the garden and acting like it's mine. That's the naughtiest, honestly, like, you know, I used to make parties. Yeah. And... We're gonna that, talk about those that. Those were like pretty naughty, but these days the naughtiest thing I've been doing is <laughs> trimming a garden that isn't mine. And like just, oh, am I gonna get in trouble for this? Like, this makes my husband's gym workout look so stupid because <laughs> what are you doing at the gym? You're just pushing and pulling things and you're not actually doing anything. But on a farm, things are being done. Trees yeah. are being trimmed and chopped and you know, you're removing weeds from the ground like you're actually doing something But at the gym, you're just pushing weights around. Yes. It's such a workout. Count me in. <laughs> but like I find it the most relaxing time. It really is. It just clears my mind, but I love nature in general, so... Tell me about your parties that you used to host oh. before. Oh boy. Come, I yes, don't, no, come I know. On, like, I everyone, don't think you're ashamed of it, I'm right? Not, like, I'm not. And you're not shy. Just, you? how do you merge that with acupuncture? <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't figured out the link yet. Maybe acupuncture was used in that world for other things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess the link is that I've, I've grown from that. Like I've grown out of the sex parties, and I'm just, it's not really my thing anymore. You're and a different now, person, like it's I'm a normal. different person, so I'm doing something different now. So let me ask you what led you to start 
hosting parties. Oh. Like what oh, was the right, like right. back in okay. the day? Okay, so you know? um, I got invited to an, a party and it was it was fun, but I didn't like a really... sex party. Yes, a sex party, and I didn't. Can, be, I'm sorry for interrupting. Oh, yes. It's just like clearing because I told you like I'm a complete noob. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So can you just um, uh, inform my viewers as well, like yeah. define what is a sex party? Because okay. people maybe imagine like you walk in and everybody's having sex. Um, it depends <laughs> on what time you walk in. Yeah, if you walk in at around like midnight, then that's what you'll see. Like everywhere. But generally, it's cool. not really. And yes, it, yes and no. Mm -hmm. It's crazier than you think it is. It's also tamer than you think it is. Um, imagine a normal party at a nice venue, uh, like a pool villa, we had a lot of those in Asia, or um, I guess here would be like some kind of mansion or townhouse, even though I don't think that's really ideal because too many rooms and separation. But some people like that, you know, some people like a bit more privacy. But mine were um, mostly with like friends and like younger people mm -hmm. like I, I wasn't doing it just to make a ton of money because if you do that to make a ton of money then you'd be inviting some older people with more money and then you know you get a really not so attractive crowd so right that's how I started I went to a party and I was just like oh wow half of these people are old enough to be my parents like this is not really <laughs> people I want to party with so I started making parties for a younger crowd and I think that was like my unique selling point. Also I was getting a lot of um, clients or party people or friends, really I treated them all like friends except I charged them. <laughs> so yeah but you know what I realized because I made a party for free the first round mm -hmm. and people don't appreciate stuff if they don't no. pay for it. No. Yeah, I agree 100%. They don't. Like, I had some people drop out at the last minute. I'm just like, dude, you're dropping out of a sex party? Okay, that's weird. But also, like, I put in so much effort. I mean, we put in so much effort. Like, we put, we had to put these because it was a really big, um, beautiful, uh, I guess you would call it a flat, but it's a, in, in Asia, we call it a condominium. And we had floor to ceiling windows, which meant at night, if you had the lights on in the house, your neighbors might see what was going on. Of course. And you know, the silhouette of a doggy style <laughs> is just, you'll know what is going on. So we had to cover these windows with like fabric and dark fabric just to like set the right space for it. Mm -hmm. And all the other props and things that we had to prepare. So it was a lot of work, and we were spending like at least 1K on just alcohol. Wow. So I was like, you know what? I need to at least make some of the money back. Um, and eventually, like, eventually it turned into an actual business. And I didn't do them at home, I would get like uh, hotels and villas. Because you mentioned. Yes, it's like a lot of sex going mm -hmm. on there, yes. but also not. So yeah. do people come there as well just to talk to someone or yes. like... So I actually was really surprised once because I had this party and this guy shows up. He's been to the party twice now and I noticed that around like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. he had all his clothes still on and I was like, why are you still dressed? Like everyone's <laughs> butt naked. And he said, oh no, I just came here to meet people. Like I'm just here to make friends. And I was like, wow. wow. He said, this is the coolest group of people I've ever met in all of the social networking events and stuff that he had been to. And he just came back for that. Wow. I was like, this is incredible. And that's like, that's kind of the essence of my parties. Like you come, because you're expecting like sex or whatever, but mm -hmm. then you stay and you keep coming back because you're actually making genuine connections. Yeah. But for example, some women mm -hmm. get paid just to like pretend they're somebody's girlfriends for a night yeah. and they get paid like hundreds of pounds uh, more than without that. sex. More than that. Really? Yeah. They could get paid more than that. I mean... Just to like, they come, they don't even have sex with anyone. I've heard that like, Sometimes they pay, like, like the guy would say, yeah, you're going to have sex, but then they show up and all they want is like 
to pour out all of their problems <laughs> and to complain about their work and their family and all of that. So then you just end up being a therapist. Yeah. Like an expensive therapist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was really like that at the parties I did. It was just friendships. After um, leaving the party scene, like my whole perception of it has changed. This is what I wanted to I ask know. you. Like, so <laughs> when was the point when you were like, okay, I don't want to do it anymore? So and it was after I got married. Yeah, after I got married, um, I don't know. Like, I totally thought I was into the parties and that I was a swinger and all of that. Mm -hmm. And then afterward, I was like, oh, actually, I'm. I, I noticed that I'm less like I just I'm not attracted to anyone at the parties anymore mm -hmm. and it just wasn't fun anymore like it was weird you know I'm like with my husband swiping on tinder to try to get people to come to my parties and it's like this is so awkward <laughs> like it just started to feel really weird and I never felt that before but like you've seen my husband he's pretty hot <laughs> um, so it was really difficult for anyone to live up to that but not just looks I'm not talking about the looks like yeah. I've been with so many good looking guys. I'm definitely bragging about this. Um, <laughs> you should. And, but the thing is like, before I met my husband, like guy, guys were basically treating me really badly. And I, I didn't recognize that they were treating mm -hmm. me badly because I was just, that's just how I was used to it. You know, like I'll give you an example. We went to one of the guy's houses and he was actually one of my favorites. Like, he was really yeah. cute and I was like really into him. Um, but I was not feeling well. Mm -hmm. We were in his house and he didn't take care of me at all. Like, he showed zero concern for me. And it's like, wow, like my husband would never, ever treat me that way. Like, he treats me like a queen. Yeah, that's how it should be. You know. Yeah, so I was basically being treated really badly by all these guys that I was dating and the ones that were coming to my parties for whatever reason. And then once I felt that love and respect and, you know, and we have amazing sex, that's the thing. Like once I felt all of that, I was just like, holy crap, I can never go back to just allowing myself to be treated badly. Yeah. Because that's, that's what was happening and I, I didn't realize until... I got married. <laughs> so the last question I'm gonna ask you is to brag about your medium.com article because it went, it, it went viral. You know, it's really interesting because I was shy to share that in your group chat because I thought it wasn't successful enough. I was like, oh, well, here's just my It little... made you four and a half thousand dollars. I know, dollars. but I just, <laughs> I know, but I don't know why. I just thought like, oh yeah, well, this happened. I didn't really think it was going to be that big of a deal, but I guess it was. But it was, it was a total accident. I don't know. It, it seems like it got shared by a few people, maybe, mm -hmm. who have bigger platforms and then got picked up. I, really no idea don't know how to replicate i would love to replicate that if i could get that amount coming in every month from some article yeah. what know? was the title of the article just so my <laughs> audience knows yeah you can share the link if you want make it go viral again <laughs> it's called i spent two weeks at a nudist swinger resort <laughs> yes brilliant mm -hmm. um so you try to replicate that but it's i think you know there's almost like this downfall when you go viral because when i got viral mm -hmm. when i went viral it was just by accident i was just like oh yeah. i'm just writing stuff that's that usually I enjoy. how it happens right just like do, random. Do, do just do what you like and just and then you go viral and just like oh my god how do i replicate that and then you like try to Re, you and know, it's not the way it works actually. No. So that's why I say like it's almost like a downfall because then you're like, I never used to check my comments. I never used to reply to comments or, or interact with anyone on Medium. But you know, when you go viral, you're like, oh, I have to like start defending myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview. Awesome. And yeah, we'll do the podcast together. So you can tune in for the podcast. If you have any questions, comment below this video and yeah check out the article as well oh yeah i'm happy to respond to any questions love talking about stuff yes see ya